Hi and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the F6 function key as a way to navigate between different panes within our Excel interface. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to open up Excel where we have an existing document. On this individual sheet, we will first examine an individual application of using F6, and then we'll look at the F6 function key as it can be used when splitting your panes. So if you use the F6 function key and you tap it once, you'll move to this bottom portion of your, of your Excel interface. So you can say zoom in, or rather zoom out. You can say put F6, I wanna to zoom to 100%. We want to zoom in or maybe we want to change the view do this by shift tab zoom to our selection or do a print view if you were to press f6 again you would come up to activate your win windows ribbon and then lastly you would be here in your spreadsheet And it can actually be really useful if and when you decide to split your windows. So if you were to split your windows, you would essentially have two or four screens. So I'm gonna hit split. And you'll notice that we then have multiple scrolly tabs here and multiple scrolly tabs here. So if we change the data in a single cell, it will change in all of those cells. And if we press the F6 key in this case, it will move to our views, then to our individual tabs, and you can make changes in that way. So my individual preference is to not use it. I generally don't like splitting things, but not use it when splitting. But here, if we want to change the view very quickly, we could go to say F6, F6, then come down to the view, Go back to regular spreadsheet. If we then want to zoom out, we press enter and it would zoom out or shift rather tab and we can zoom in. So again, F6 was covered in the keyboard shortcut, which will allow you to cycle between the different panes. This ribbon here, the actual spreadsheet, and then this bottom portion of Excel. Alternatively, you can use your mouse and just individually click any of these items such as the zooming function here. In our next video, we'll look at using Shift F6, which will help you navigate these panes in a counterclockwise fashion. So if you're interested, check that out in our next video. And as always, thanks for watching.